Hi, I'm Ty with Mark Twain Hobby Center, and today's topic, what are the rules of flying? Now, depending on how much you've been paying attention to the media and how much research you've been doing, you've probably heard that there are a variety of rules being introduced regarding drone flight. There are a couple of organizations responsible for coming up with rules that pertain to RC drone flight. The first of which is the Academy of Model Aeronautics. The AMA is one of the most important organizations in this hobby. Most RC flying fields require you to be an AMA member before even joining their club. The next organization is the FAA. FAA stands for Federal Aviation Administration, and you've probably heard of them. They're responsible for governing the national airspace, and they also govern all of the airplanes, helicopters, and aircraft in the air. The FAA is starting to take another look at RC airplanes, helicopters, and drones to see if any of the rules that they have for a larger aircraft apply to our smaller RC hobby. The last organization to concern yourself with is the FCC. The Federal Communications Commission is usually known for governing radio and television broadcasts, but their rules, policies, and legislation also pertain to our radio transmitters and our FPV gear. Now, all three of these organizations are currently working on regulations that pertain to RC drone flight. Congress has asked all three of them to work together to come up with a set of rules that applies to this growing hobby. Now, the AMA has always been connected to the RC flying hobby. The FAA, of course, has always been connected to larger models, typically larger than 55 pounds. This is one of the first real collaborations between the two. The FCC really spends its time, again, focusing on broadcasts, and they're not nearly as involved as the FAA and AMA. It's not only important to follow the rules, regulations, and guidelines put out by the FAA, AMA, and FCC, but it's also important to stay on top of changes in these rules because they are rapidly changing just as this hobby is growing. Whether or not the AMA, FAA, and FCC come out with rules soon or later, some basic guidelines can be followed. It goes without saying that we should never fly our models anywhere near airports or where we would reasonably expect full-size aircraft to exist. It's also important not to fly your aircraft anywhere near or around expensive property that can easily be damaged by propellers, rotors, or the weight of a falling aircraft. Certain guidelines and rules suggest that you should not use FPV without the aid of a spotter, someone to sit and watch the aircraft if you are unable to do so yourself. It's also important that your aircraft be flown in virtual line of sight. AMA guidelines have always suggested that you fly below 400 feet lest you enter the national airspace. Guidelines have also typically suggested that you fly at least 5 miles away from any airport. It is important when considering flying locations to see if there are any airports nearby. If so, you want to stay at least 5 miles away. If for some reason you are unable to do so, it is advised that you telephone the control tower and let them know that you'll be flying your model at a certain time, at a certain altitude, and it might show up on their radar. Now, with the applications of quadcopters and drones, there are a handful of commercial applications that are popping up as well. Aerial photography is one of the most popular uses for quadcopters. As such, it is very important that you look up the legality of any kind of commercial work you want to do and follow through with any paperwork that is required to do so. Of course, this technology inherently brings about some sinister applications, and thus it is important that you consider the privacy of those around you and never use any of this technology to violate anyone's privacy. Now more than ever, the FAA is beginning to govern and regulate our hobby. Therefore, it is important that you fly within those regulations and pay attention to how they change. Otherwise, we could see this hobby disappear or severely diminish. You can do your part to fly within the rules and regulations and make sure that we all get to have the fun that we've always enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep subscribing.